What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today I got a single coil RDA. It's been a long time. Wow. I can't even remember the last single coil I did. I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, that Vega one. But yeah, you guys know what I mean. We haven't really seen a lot of single coil RDAs come out in the market. And vaping with the Vic from the UK, the Kelpie. The Kelpie. RDA. Single coil. Let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys the ins and outs of this RDA. We're going to do coil placement, wicker up, come back, vapor up. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Kelpie by Vaping with Vic and EH Pro. All right, guys, and here's the packaging for the Kelpie RDA by Vaping with Vic EH Pro. Inside the packaging, you get a warranty card, this little box, and inside that little box, you get some cotton. You also get a 510 drip tip adapter and this little baggie, some extra post screws, squonk pin, couple of coils, and O-rings. The Kelpie RDA is going to come in three different colors. You got black, stainless steel, and blue. They are 24 millimeter RDAs single coil that is looking at the rda we do have an 810 drip tip little branding on it kelpie action going on there and like i said yes 810 black o-ring on the inside nice drip tip goes in beautifully no issues at all that's when the ocd then kicks in because then you gotta like make sure you got that kelpie lined up with this little thing design thingy going on here you got like a little horse there a castle i guess it's like in the lock something like that going on there checkerboard theme on top does look like it's a two-piece but it's not a two-piece this does not turn adjust the airflow has to be on a mod and the whole barrel moves for adjustment of airflow i'll show you guys that in a bit there's the bottom designed by vaping with vic eh pro gold plated 510 protrudes out more than enough for your hybrid connections one thing i forgot to show is on the kelpie rda box it is in very small fine print there it says a vaping with vic project so back to the rda our airflow we do have honeycomb airflow and this little i don't know what that's for maybe an extra airflow opening which is kind of mind-boggling why put it there why not just put an extra hole right here i just i i don't get this why that's there it's a little weird but anyway you're gonna simply just turn your barrel and your airflow then gets cut off and to get a better idea pop this off and your airflow sits inside here you see that so when you're turning it, you're kind of turning and it shuts the airflow off right about there. Airflow goes in through there and on this side. And we do have a locking mechanism. Let's look at the barrel itself. You have a locking mechanism, which is right here. And then you have this machining. As you can see here, that's some pretty bad machining. I can't remember the name of the shafe, sheaf, some weird name for it. But yeah, and I think this has this happened because of this here because the locking system has but this does not affect the vape quality your build your build sits inside this area and this part that you see here is going to be right here this part so it doesn't affect your vape it's just yeah shoddy machining on their part and another thing with this is so you can see the way the airflow is designed it's behind a wall there's a wall right here so that's why when i was showing you guys this here turning it to adjust the airflow you couldn't really see what was going on so i'm thinking that this little hole here was meant for an indicator so you could see okay look we've reached the wall it's off now and then it's open so that might be what it's for i'm not sure but either way you're still getting airflow coming into this little hole too so we'll pop that back off so yeah one more look at that and this looks to be press fit in somehow they did a press fitting with this so build deck that's what we're all here for right that good old build deck so it's got that kelpie style build deck the original kelpie if i remember correctly was split down the center over here you can see the split is here so this side would be your negative and this would be your positive and it is four post allen key screws as you can see there allen key screws and you could put the coils both leads on one side if you want to in the coil like that or you could split and put one lead here one lead there or one lead there and one lead there so you have different options with this we do have super deep juice well it looks to be 
eight to nine millimeters deep, somewhere inside there. Nice deep juice well. Openings underneath, as you can see. So you have a whole open area. And when you're dripping on this, the liquid's gonna go through here and through some other holes and go right inside your well, which is awesome. I like that. It's kind of reminds me of the Ohana RDA, the way that was designed, has that same concept going on there with the airflow, everything like the Ohana. So, like I said, and also for squonking, this is going to be great for squonking. When you're squonking in here, it's just going to fill it up beautiful. You could drip actually a lot of liquid inside this RDA. On the side, you could see we do also have a serial number. Got the post screws fully open, and you could see there is sort of like a little lip, little ledge thingy going on there to keep the coil from jumping out. Not extreme, but it does the job. Before I forget, I'm going to remove the screw here, the 510 screw, because I will be squonking with this one here because I am dripping in the black version. So it's a simple process of just removing that. And by removing that, I try to take this out. And what happens here is, you can see, see that? The build deck starts to come up and no matter what I do, I cannot get this piece to come out. I wanted to see the internals, just get a better view. And also for the video to show you guys, but this does not come out. Looks like when I put this in, this piece here, you can see you got these two looks like rivets by them riveting this down in place it locked this all together so i'm not sure why they did that whatever but cleaning this shouldn't be an issue anyway even though you can't remove this hot water soak it up it'll clean up this rda which i've done already obviously always clean your rdas before using them when they're coming from china especially with this corona shit going on right some scary stuff going on there but you, i don't think you have to worry about the corona actually i've done some research and it by the time the product comes here, uh, any kind of bacteria, whatever, if, is not going to be on the stuff. But always disinfect your stuff before using it. That's what I recommend. But anyway, so squonk pin installed. Now we're going to do a coil placement. I will be using one of the coils that they provided, which is right here. I have no stats on this coil, but I will be using it. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is Canthal. All right, I got the coil, got it on a little three millimeter coiling rod. And yes, you, these are, you get these on Hit That Juice or on Signature Tips' website. But installing this coil is quite simple. I mean, you really don't need to use this right now. Just a simple tuck it in there, tuck it in on that side. You can see the way the coil is set up right now. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna pull it just a little bit. And then I will just tighten that down. Do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to give it a little pull. Right there. And my fingers are in the way. Just tighten that down. And after I've tightened it down, I'm just going to grab my coiling rod now and just position it right where I want it. One they supply, as you can see, is like four wraps. So you got four going on top. And it looks like we're going to get penetration on the whole coil now if you had an extra wrap on here for five wrap you will be overlaying but it shouldn't be a problem i know it's not a problem because i actually in this one here that i've been using i do have it that way and you can see and if i'm not mistaken i have both coils on one side i did it so i did this one this way and this one the opposite way for the coils to go in or the leads got it on a mod top side light 22 watts I'm gonna pulse that coil. Just give it a pulse and scrape. There we go. You can see that it's starting to heat from the inside out. That's what you want. Perfect. And now that I let it cool down, I'm gonna grab a piece of this shoelace cotton. This is the Coilology shoelace cotton. I like this cotton. I'm gonna pull that right in there. There we go. Looking good. And I'm going to keep it a little bit on the long side. Con. Remember, we have a pretty deep juice well going on there. Steve, you didn't sharpen my scissors. God, I'm going to fire this guy. So anyway, let's... Uh, I think I'm zoomed in a little too much. There we go. And I'm going to cut this just a little more. But I'm going to give it a little comb out right now on both sides. And of course, you know what? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I know you wanted me to tickle you under there. And now that I'm done tickling my cotton, I'm gonna grab my needle nose uh, angle thingies, whatever you call these again. Wow, my memory's bad. I'm just gonna pluck that cotton right in there. And it falls in beautifully. 
Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, stop, Mike. Squonk action. All right, let's do it. Let's squonk this. Give it a nice hard press. And nothing happened. Let's give it another hard press. And you see that? No liquids. Like, it's crazy, right? Look at that. Give it another hard press. All right. You see, you don't see no liquid coming in from the center. No, I just saw it now. Now I finally overdid it. But you saw how many times I gave it some nice squonk action there. And no leaking or anything. And if it does, liquid does come out through those holes there. It's going to fall inside here. When you take a vape, it's going to recycle itself back in. And basically slam under your coil. And there you go. I gave it a little head start. I'm using some taffy splash banana on there. Going to grab that top cap now. Put that into place. It should just drop down. And airflow is fully open. And there you go. The Kelpie RDA by Vic. Vaping with Vic and EH Pro. Let's go back up on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. Up close. Kelpie RDA. Vaping with Vic and EH Pro. Mike, give us your thoughts. Pros and cons. First con is going to have to be... The inside, the machining, even though it doesn't affect the vape, just the machining is a little shoddy. You guys saw the inside of the barrel dirty up and close. Doesn't affect the vape, just something worth mentioning. All right, now if you look at the black and the blue, the insides, you don't really see it. You see it on the stainless steel. What else, Mike? Other cons with this. The airflow is a little bit on the loud side. It's smooth. It's a nice airflow, but it's a little bit on the loud side, so that's going to have to be a con. And I, is it a con? I don't know. It's just odd looking would have to be, well, number one, the RDA is kind of odd looking. That's subjective the way it looks. I'm not really a big fan of how it looks. And that other little hole on the bottom, don't know what it's for, whatever. It's there. It's there. Now, pros on this. Drip tip. I like the drip tip. It's going to get a pro. Mike, you're giving a pro on a drip tip? Yeah, why not? Anyway, stuff that comes in the package. It is a single coil RDA. They at least give you a 510 drip tip adapter. It's going to be a pro. You get two coils, cotton pro. Lots of extras in there. It's going to have to get a pro. The vape quality off this RDA is going to get a pro. The flavor on this thing is awesome. It's got awesome flavor. I love the juice well on here. I love how I could drip down this RDA and I don't get spit back. I know, I saw his presentation video, and he said if you put a lot of liquid in there, you'll get a whole bunch of juice in your mouth. That's not true, Vic. I don't know what RDA you're vaping on. Oh, wait a minute. You were vaping on your own. I haven't gotten no spit back on mine, and I've been excessively dripping it for my testing, and no issues at all. So, let me have a vape right now. This one here, single coil inside here. Oh, yeah, people wondering. I busted out an oldie, but a goodie. Segeli 213. I love this mod. So, 70 watts, the, oh god, the font is so small. 0.25 resistance. It's a vape. Very nice. The cloud production flavor. Beautiful vape. Now, I got liquid. This one here, I got Taffy Splash Blue Raz. I could sit there and... See what I'm doing? I'm just dumping that liquid right inside there. What's going on is what's going to lead me to my next pro, the opening. So when air, when the, when liquids goes inside those honeycomb style airflow thingies, underneath, it releases that liquid and goes inside the, uh, what do you call it? God, I've, Steve, you messed up the script again. The juice well. All right. So like I said, it's a vape now. Now you guys saw what I did. The first initial vape, you're going to hear a noise, and that's because you have liquid that's on there. So what happens when you take that vape, you hear that little sound it makes, and the liquid splashes onto the coil. Now. Oh, I wasn't even pressing the fire button. Beautiful. But maybe the issue... And I'm not having that issue, and he had the issue of over-dripping, was because maybe he's over-over-dripping. 
I'm over dripping, but not excessively. That's like crazy. You're filling it all up then. Then it's going to be just a big pile of liquid in there. No. But have any issues, great little dripper right here for bottom airflow. Now, when it comes down to squonking, great RDA for squonking. Nice single coil banger for squonking. It's going to have to get a pro. Flavor. Flavor, I have to say, is pretty damn good with this. This is a nice, flavorful RDA. Looking at the RDA, it's not my favorite looking RDA, but I have to say, the vape quality I get off the RDA, though, is beautiful. It's got a nice vape to it. Nice flavor. Flavor rating from a 1 to 10 scale. Single coil RDA category. It's going to get an 8.5 out of 10 for flavor. So, let's have another vape. Squonk mode, 70 watts. 0.22 resistance. That's the coil they provided. 0.22 resistance. Have a vape. Now I'm going to cut down the airflow. And let's see. Cutting it down. Now when you cut down the airflow, and I'm like about three quarters open, the sound, that loud sound it makes, it's kind of diminishing. And there you go. That was the Kelpie RDA by Vaping with Vic and EH Pro. Congrats, Vic, on the RDA. Like I said, not my favorite looking RDA, but it vapes pretty good. I've been enjoying the vape off this. All right, price, Google search it. Do that Google thingy. I'm not allowed to give you guys links and all that. It's a YouTube policy. But down below, I do have links to advocacy and my links. Check them out. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. And remember, keep on vaping.